Hello everyone, hope you all had a good weekend. Welcome back, thanks for joining me for another little discussion. Now just before I get into this commentary, just to let you know, I'm I'm hosting a live podcast tonight at 9pm GMT with a few special guests, so I'd greatly appreciate you sticking around for that. I'll be answering questions from the comment section and I'd appreciate subscribers feedback obviously on the topic, which we'll be mainly talking about our thoughts and opinions on Call of Duty now and obviously COD 2016 as it is the big topic on everyone's mind right now and I'm sure we may mention this hashtag black market blackout everyone's rambling on about. As always I have a few ideas on it and perhaps a slightly different outlook or perception of the whole thing so yes tune in 9pm tonight basically in a few hours really. So anyway on with the commentary. Now this Call of Duty community, us the gamers, the fans, we buy the game every year, year in year out we play the game, we play multiplayer campaign zombies or whatever third mode the developers throw in to the franchise. Every year we hear the same cries from this community, we want change. Basically what everyone's saying is same poop, different game. You look at Sledgehammer, take Sledgehammer for example, they were introduced by Activision into the mix, a third new developer and now we have a three year development cycle, perhaps a way to ease the stress and pressure on, on the other two developers. Now Sledgehammer in my opinion made the most ambitious and innovative Call of Duty ever. They went from the classic boots on the ground to, dare I use the phrase, kangaroo warfare. They introduced exosuits, boost slides, mechanized soldiers, obviously very futuristic style gameplay and it got its fair amount of hatred from the community, including myself obviously. To me it wasn't really Call of Duty anymore, the community wanted change and my goodness Sledgehammer give us change. Treyarch came along with a slightly more refined, dumbed down movement mechanic and to be honest it works, it works very very well within Black Ops 3 and still we hear cries from the community. There's parts of this community like a mob with their torches and pitchforks basically saying yeah we want change but we want things to change back to what it was before we want to change. You know it's so strange and I've said this before, it's like developers are sitting in their their offices and saying yeah you want to change, we give you fucking change, now you want it to change back. So many people want boots on the ground, people might like the way the Call of Duty's going, it's so different. Now look at it this way, Call of Duty may be up there as the most played game ever on console taking in the entire franchise right back to day one. So that is a lot of people to try and please and a lot of people to try and cater for different wants and needs. And then we have a YouTube community where people have a platform, a voice to express their emotions and opinions, whether it's good or bad or negative or positive. And with Call of Duty as a topic to talk about, there's always something to discuss. My reasoning behind this commentary is simple, I want to hear your opinions, I want my subscribers to tell me what you want from this franchise. What's your favourite Call of Duty of all time? Who's your favourite development team? Take these things into consideration with your response and I will have a look through the comment section and hopefully I'll be sure to remember some for the podcast tonight and I will answer some and I'll give my opinion on, on the matter I suppose. Now I will probably do a response video to this in the in the near future on what I personally want from Call of Duty as a somewhat outspoken unbiased fan of the, of the series and the franchise and I think I do speak for everyone when I say we want Call of Duty to strive and move forward but perhaps to take into consideration the COD vets, the Call of Duty veterans, the long time diehard fans, are we being forgotten about? Are the developers focusing more on implementing aspects from 
we'll say other games out there as opposed to the core of the classic Call of Duty feel we all know and love, it's hard to know. I look forward to, to your opinion on the matter. Anyway guys, appreciate all the support as as of recent. It's been, for me it's been difficult to get back into my groove, so to speak, after a long absence from the scene. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video and you will see me hopefully in a few hours on the podcast. Please stay tuned for that. Anyway guys, stay safe, stay clean, use protection. <laughs> Love ya, bye.